Hello YouTubers, this is an update to my motorized electric crank powered bicycle. First upgrade that I did was I changed the motor mount. Originally it was just one steel plate all the way across and now it's just an L bracket. I have a bolt here to keep it from sliding around the frame. And it's attached to the bicycle with these U-bolts. And not only does this cut down on the, the weight, but also frees up space for this front derailleur. I've added another set of gears. The largest sprocket has 50 teeth, the smallest one has 39 teeth in the back. I have seven speeds. The largest sprocket is 32 teeth and the smallest one has 11. To account for this new gear ratio, I added this 44 tooth drive sprocket. So now with this combination, the bike can go anywhere between 6 miles an hour and has a top speed of 23 miles per hour. The batteries are still the same. Two 12 volt 18 amp lead acid batteries, 24 volt controller, and still has GPS and the throttle. I'm going to show you the hill climbing capabilities. It's one of the reasons why I add these extra set of gears. Got a steep grade here on the River Mountains Trail in Henderson, Nevada, and we're going to go ahead and take this 100% electric power, no pedaling. Now, the uh, no pedaling at all. Motor is doing all of this, going six miles an hour. This is called the uh, Three Sisters, part of River Mountains Trail. There's three really steep grades, and this is one of them. Now, in real life, I wouldn't really be letting the motor do all this. I'd be pedaling along with the motor, but I just wanted to show you this raw power, how much it has. Now we're getting to a real steep part of the trail here, but it's still taking it. So I want to show you actually the uh, how steep this trail is at this point. This is the, the steepest part of this incline. And I have a level that's set up here to show you the, the grade. It's, it's level. This is a 24 inch level. So you can see right there the profile. You can see how steep this part of the trail is. Now if you take this and measure the height, it's about four inches. So if you take four inches divided by 24 inches, you get about 0.16. And that means you have a 16% grade, which is a really steep hill to, for a bike to be going up. But it was able to take it. So this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching.